Okay, so we're here at Lenaro Connect uh, 2018 in Hong Kong right now. My name is Robert Wolf. And I'm Syed Saru. And today we are going to unbox a very special package that we have in front of us. It's huge and it consumes very less power. Yeah, and this was actually uh, donated to us very graciously for this unboxing experience from Socionex. So if you would like to visit the Socionex social media channels and also, of course, 96 board channels, uh, go ahead, pop on Twitter, pop on Instagram, go to your Facebook, you know, all the places that you go and, and explore it and check out Socionext, check out 96 boards. Uh, let's get to the unboxing. How about yeah. that? Yeah. So Sahaj has a nice little knife. Th this is this is basically the, one of the first production um, Enterprise 96 boards that has been made available. And uh, I'm excited to be able to open this because um, this is pretty much the same experience you'll get if you buy one, right? Um, we have no idea what's in here. <laughs> in fact, one of the technical guys that's been working on it uh, assured us uh, that we are going to be surprised. All right. So as you can see, uh, it looks like just a bunch of other little boxes, right? All right. So the first one. Let's, let's do teamwork here. Yeah. I'll, I'll hold the bottom down. You go ahead and pull that out. Can you even handle it? Let's see. Uh, <laughs> Let's, here, let's okay, you hold, you hold the bottom down. You hold the bottom down. Ah, all right, here we go. There's one box. Ah, in wind. In wind.com. All right, so this one right here to the floor. So which one should we do first? Let's do that one. Ah, wait, actually, yeah, let's do let's do that one first. Let's see the accessories. I'm guessing yeah. this is the box and this is the accessory box. It kind of looks that way. Accessory box. Oh, no, wait, did I get it wrong? <laughs> Okay, so it looks yeah. like we opened up the actual dev board first, so I think we can go ahead and keep it aside and then look at it in a bit. I don't, I, I don't see anyone getting a broken board with this type of packaging, that's for sure, very nice looking. Yeah. So this is the actual board itself. And you get a graphic card because you would actually need to have uh, HDMI off through the GPU. We'll talk about all these in a GPU, second yeah. too. And then another... Mm -hmm box that has a hard drive. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's just put yeah. this foam over here. All right. Some RAM, that's how much? Four gigs. And um, IO, eight. All right, so let's put this to the side and talk about each one of these things real quick. Oops. All right, so before we open the next box. Yeah. So what do we have here? This right here is the board itself, and we'll unbox it, unbag this in just a second. Yeah. This is the Socio Next uh, um, 96 boards enterprise edition teamed up with Gigabyte, Socionext, and Lenaro to develop this all together. And um, just so everyone knows, if you go to like 96boards.org and you check out the specifications tab, this is based on the 96 boards enterprise edition specification, open hardware specification. So um, un unpacking this a little bit will give Sahaj a chance to talk about some of the features on the board and then we'll dive into some of these other components. But um, just kind of thinking about this for a second, right? This is the first ever computer that you can actually use uh, as a home computer or as a compilation machine that's running an ARM SOC, right? So I mean, throw cross-compiling away, uh, throw all of that other good stuff away uh, that you know you might be sick of, and. Um, and start working on an actual dev box developing for ARM on ARM, right? That's kind of the beauty of this. So, so the chip itself is a 24 core uh, chip based on the Cortex A53, and um, it all the cores are actually running at one gigahertz. Now, the uh, clock speed might seem slow, but when it's paired up with 24 cores, the uh, the parallel compute is actually much greater. And because of the lower clock speed, you are actually getting much higher efficiency. And in that, the chip is just uh, consumes just like five watts. And from what I've been told, the RAM itself, if it's fully populated, would consume more than the chip. Yeah, so another really cool thing to note here, right? Um, if anyone's ever familiar with the 96 boards uh, specifications, you can see, look, you have the little 40 pin low speed header right here, um, which should comply with uh, uh, some 96 boards, I would yeah. say uh, mezzanine products, right? So like this looks like basically the form factor for the CE edition board, which is I believe a, um, a kind of etched in there. 
And then um, looking at everything else, uh, as you would imagine, this is a uh, intended for a developer box, right? So this is what's in this right here. You basically put it in your developer box and it becomes a desktop for your computer. But look at that, two USB type C's, ethernet port, um, power, and then all of the other ports that Sahaj was just yeah. talking about. To SATA for your hard drives, uh, the sta it's a standard 24 pin connector. So your PC power supply would just work as fine, but rest assured you won't need a 500 watt one for any reason. But, um, and then we have three uh, PCI slots. One is um, 1X and another one is also 1X, but the third one, it's, it's in a X16 form factor, but it's actually um, four lane. So that's where the graphic card goes. And if you want other peripherals that can have their place. Great, and so uh, so we don't waste too much more time on, on, on this. Let's move forward to some of the other things that come in this kit, right? Because I mean, again, we're, the, we're I'm as surprised as hopefully everyone else is watching. I didn't think that it was even gonna come with a graphics card, but here you go, a graphics card. This is what, the GT710, GeForce GT710 NVIDIA. Um, this graphics card, uh, I'm guessing has already been enabled yep. for this board. So you can, it's pretty much plug and play, right? You get your board, already has the SOC on there, uh, pop in your graphics card and then start it up. Maybe. And the way it's enabled, it's actually pretty interesting. So maybe we'll talk about in detail some other time when we are doing a deep dive into this board. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll keep it to unboxing this. Yeah, I was just gonna say like, maybe we'll do more videos on yeah. this, uh, exploring, plugging it in. Of course, you know, power cable, hard drive. There you go, a, a hard drive. This is just a, a standard magnetic hard drive. It looks like Western Digital comes right in there. Here you have the RAM, four gigabytes of RAM. Um, we won't go into branding or anything, but yeah, so this plugs into the RAM slots, hard drives, and everything else. So let's move that aside. Let's look at this. This is this is actually what you're gonna get to, this is the visual part of your desk, right? <laughs> what you have to look at. The knife guy. Ready? Teamwork. Okay, let's move that box. And we have, go ahead, pop that off. A standard Dell PC. No, just kidding, it's not. <laughs> it, it, move that plastic yeah. part there. All right. So this is the box that you'll put your uh, brand new um, well, we would call it almost like a motherboard yep. um, in, inside, right? And um, on the front here, you can see you have the two um, USB ports, USB um, ports, the yep. USB Type C ports, and I'm sorry, USB Type C, USB uh, Type A 3.0 ports, and then um, power button, pretty much all the standard components you'd have. Yeah, and at the, the back, you actually have a few more things inside. I think we'll open up and take a look, but mainly you do have a power supply, so you also don't have to buy that separately. Yes. Should we open up? Should yeah. we open it up? Does this even open up? Yeah, it's got to open up, right? Yeah, uh, we won't open it up this time. It looks like it's screwed in there. So um, for the uh, setting everything up, you're going to have to have your standard <laughs> computer tools right around. So unscrewing this back part and getting your everything set up. So um, once again, I would like to say thank you to Socionext. Thank you to Gigabyte, Lenaro, uh, everyone at Lenaro and, and Gigabyte and Socionext who put in so much hard work to getting this out to the public, available for sale now. Please take the time to go check out their YouTube channels, all their social media channels, um, and uh, stay up to date with all of the recent uh, work that's going on around this board. Now, I hope that open hours, yeah, maybe we can get... Maybe we can get our hands on and have a, like an hour long deep dive. Yes. And talk about, so for that, Go ahead, subscribe to the 96 Watch channel, and we do live stream open hours there. And then you can also check out open hours in the link in the description. We'll share everything in yes. the description below.